What's up, Cryptopians? So I'm just going to be going over a whole bunch of different news. What's going on with Solana compared to Ethereum? Is the Ethereum going to end up ticking up coming soon? It's things of that nature. So I'm going to hop over to my Twitter. <clears throat> right now, Solana has flipped Ethereum in 24-hour DEX volume. This is actually huge, and we want to kind of talk about this. So... This is, I believe, the second time it's happened so far. And you can see the weekly change is up 116%. And the reason why this is important is because it's the users that are actually on the network. So you can have people outside of the network that are trading Ethereum, if you think about this. There's people who think about crypto and they're going to invest. They probably know maybe a few coins that come off the top of their head would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, just to name a couple. But if the decentralized exchange volume is what's flipping ethereum that means there's more active users on solana and there's a better community and more tied together ecosystem so i think that there's like an achilles heel for ethereum it's great that they're trying to develop this layer two that's going to work but if you really think about it you're splitting the ecosystem you're like you're shard you're sharding as they're calling it kind of right you're shattering the ecosystem out into multiple different planes and you have to use all these different bridges to get from one place to the other and you're wrapping on top of each one of those chains and it starts making it harder and harder and harder to operate as a whole we have nothing against ethereum right like we mind ethereum we love ethereum like ethereum is the birthplace basically of smart contracts so it's amazing but the what's going on here is that Again, like we're, we're just seeing this DEX volume and how much it's increased. And that's the, that's the people within the ecosystem, right? So where's this other, where's this other graph that we have right here? Look, wallets, 116,546 new wallets in two days growth, 20%. That's insane. This is crazy. These numbers that they're putting out is staggering. Like Solana is the best network right now, hands down. It's the best network out of them all. It, it has the speed. It has the, the cheap fees. I would have to say decent security, solid uptime, very short finality for transaction, like confirmation and completion. It, that which is going to end up working really well for the DEXs. Like, for example, you're on these these protocols, you know, these websites, birdeye.so. This is a decentralized exchange. You can swap any token that you want. You change your slippage, you click swap, powered by Jupiter, which that's a company that's undervalued. But this is what we're seeing. Like, this, th these tools are what are being powered basically by Solana, and they're amazing. So we're just kind of making these videos, having these chats, theory, crafting. I don't script. I don't come up with, like, this is just different things that are on the fly and, and what we're looking at, what we're seeing value in. And something else that's going on right now is the voting for the Jupiter DAO, Decentralized Autonom Autonomous Organization. And you're going to be able to generate fees for the for the launch pad. But what's pretty cool to us is that 164 million Jupe tokens are staked. So there's 1.35 billion. And so that that's almost 13 percent of all Jupiter. Th this just came out for people to start voting. That's how dedicated the users are to the system. Right. 13% of all of the Jupiter supply locked up. Look at what we did. We locked up our Jupe or some of it, right? Because, but we, we locked it up, staked it, unstaked it. So, because it has a 30 day grace period, but 
we locked it we're going to be voting see you can go on here this is this is for the launch pad lfg is the launch pad and then you vote for the different product or or protocol that's going to be launching off of jupiter and then the fees that are generated are going to go back to the people who staked on chain with them because you're the one who is providing the liquidity so that's basically like LPing. You're providing the liquidity and then you're gonna you're gonna generate fees from that. So if we know that Solana's decentralized exchange volume is passing Ethereum, the next thing we would think to ourselves is who is the number one decentralized exchange on Solana? That and that's Jupiter. There are other ones that are great. There's Orca and there's Radium. There's another like DLMM and some liquidity pools called Meteora and a couple other ones. But we're kind of just only going over this, right? But if it's passing the <laughs> decentralized exchange volume, you go over and look at Uniswap. This is constantly what we're doing, right? You can look at the market cap, 9 billion market cap, jupe. Well, uh, where we're at, 962 million. point. 3.5 multiplier at current price right now is going to be about a $7 Jupiter. And I, th and I think that both of these are undervalued, like Uniswap is going to be undervalued, and so is Jupiter coming into the bull cycle because both of them are going to get massive amounts of uptick in volume of money traveling through the system because you have the ETF and I bet you, uh, of course, Ethereum is gonna have more money going through it once the ETF is finalized and it gets approved and a ton of people are gonna be throwing money into it. But the thing is the people who are dedicated to the ecosystems, the people that who are actually utilizing the tools. So if you wanted to invest in it based on usage and growth, it would be Solana, not Ethereum. And there's a lot of people bridging over their money, right? They're bridging over their money from uh, Ethereum to Solana. DeFi TVL breaks 2.8 billion, highest since early May 2022. Jupiter ended up breaking all-time highs. This is what's absolutely expected. Like... The, with all the activity that's going on, with all the things that are, all the new products that are coming out, it's going to be expected. Look at this, 4 million bridged from other chains to Solana.